Hey, this is Greg Hennemeister. I just want to spend a few minutes on IBM Cloud Satellite and financial services workloads. The three main goals of our, of our clients is they need to build and deliver and manage applications anywhere the data resides. And most of the time that means in various hybrid cloud locations. Now, if they could have that ability, they want a platform that runs as a service. They don't want to spend the talent that's required to manage all of these environments. They just want to spend their time innovating. Third is if they could have that environment as a service to run the applications, they need to prove that it is compliant across the entire platform, and they really want a common compliance capability. So that's what I'm gonna show real quickly. First, I'm gonna show how our IBM Cloud Satellite, you can stand up using existing infrastructure, create a secure link, deploy cloud services into these locations, manage the capacity of these cloud services, whether it's on another cloud platform or whether it is on premises right next to the mainframe, to the sensitive data, to the VM-based applications. Once we have that, our development teams can then use tool chains to use their development DevOps pipelines to deliver these applications from a common location into multiple targets. Now, once all that is set up, they want a common compliance. So the ability to add security and compliance center that can not only scan our IBM Cloud satellite environments with OpenShift, but also entire Azure locations and even extend into our latest Z16, well, then you start getting a a complete compliance view across this entire hybrid cloud environment. Let's take a quick look. So right now I have uh, a number of locations and each of those has uh, a, a variety of OpenShift environments. So real quickly, I'm gonna go into this configurations and these are the applications that are available that I have set up. I'm gonna select one and I'm gonna, I have two versions of it. I'm gonna deploy real quickly a version, asset manager. I'm gonna pick uh, version two and I'm gonna select a group of clusters across those satellite environments. Now, before I do that, here are the OpenShift environments. One is AWS satellite. Another one is an on-prem satellite cluster. And you'll notice neither of them have a project called Asset Manager. So if I go back here and select it to hit Create, IBM Cloud Satellite will then create a subscription deploying this in application into those clusters. So let's take a look. Oh, Asset Manager created just now. Here's another one. Asset Manager created just now. So if I click into it, um, Looks like it's being created. If I click into this one, oh, look at it. three pods uh, created just now. And so that is happening across these clusters where I've got asset manager here and I got asset manager here. And, and so what that means is I can have applications centrally deployed. Now let's quickly go back and add uh, an edit, add a new version. So I'm gonna edit the subscription, change it to version three. I'm gonna hit save, and just to show you how fast it is, I'm gonna go here, I, oh, I got version three, it's already changed. So that is the first round of this promise where these development teams can push applications across these clusters in a central fashion. And all of these are as a service, so I have great cloud experience. But what about compliance? Let's look at that. If I go back to my live view, I can now select security and compliance. So I've got an overall posture, uh, uh, my compliance score, I've got a number of uh, sets of information. 
and the compliance is calculated because I'm using a variety of profiles, which are collections of controls that are calling goals to be measured for telling me how compliant I am. I've got IBM Cloud for financial services uh, profiles. I've got Azure profiles. I've got a number of profiles I can choose from. So let's actually show what we have. The first one I'm gonna go into is our IBM Cloud environment. So I just click here for, for, uh, for ease and I am monitoring my, uh, my OpenShift environments and satellite and monitoring other IBM Cloud assets. Again, let me go back to here. I'm monitoring this area and my OpenShift environment here and I can easily see where I'm compliant and where I'm not. All of these controls are compliant. You know, look at this. I, I pick here and I've got, you know, what goals I'm looking at, object storage quotas, and all these object storage environments are valid. Well, now let's take a look at ones that are bad. Um, these are ones I need to work on. And so some of these uh, information flow, you know, some are good and some are bad. And, I can go through each of these and see what exactly I need to do to make this compliant. But not only that, let's look into OpenShift. You know, we looked at a bit about block storage. I can go into OpenShift and see that for this particular cluster, there's some really good uh, I'm in compliance and other ones I'm not. For example, I can say that I am using public endpoints. Well, that's bad. I don't want to do that. Um, but I do have image pull secrets enabled, so that's good. So that's one quick example. What I actually want to do is also go to the OpenShift compliance operator. So what we've done is we've, we've integrated the operator into security and compliance, and there is a second profile. So you saw I was looking at the financial services one. Now I'm going to look at the OpenShift operator one. And it has added all kinds of additional controls. And so if I click into here to make sure my file permissions are set, I can select it, say verify permissions, and for all the worker nodes across my satellite environments, they are valid, which is great. The other example is these Azure environments. And this is where we're gonna show this capability to monitor not only what IBM Cloud is doing in the satellite environment, but more broadly across, uh, in this case, across Azure. And so if I open up this Azure uh, scan, again, I've got uh, controls that have passed and I can just select it to say, here's everything that I've, uh, that, that's, that's good. And I can see what's bad. Let me actually open up the full view so you can see all the different content that, um, that we do scan across the whole environment. And later on, we can show you details on how exactly we set that up. Uh, but the, you know, the, the result is that I can go into to say, well, how's my Azure Kubernetes service, my AKS environment uh, for this particular environment? And it's got some details. Uh, and, and so it'll have the same kind of level of details in there. And uh, let's look at Postgres. You know, how am I doing in my, in, in my compliance for Azure Postgres? And it says I'm doing great for some and a couple others I need to work on. And I can select exactly what I need to do to resolve it. So that is just a quick, quick peek at how IBM Cloud Satellite delivers these applications across all of these locations. Uh, into the OpenShift clusters, and I can make changes from a central spot and, and really have that cloud experience. And then I can have my security and compliance show me at a single view my compliance level deep within OpenShift in satellite environment, uh, deep within my IBM cloud environment, and also across my Azure environment. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Chat soon.